need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. One of the most useful and fundamental functions of Word is the ability to add pictures into your documents to enhance their appearance. In Word 2013, you can now insert pictures from various online resources, including Office.com, your SkyDrive, and other online resources. To insert an image from an online resource, first click into the document to place your insertion point at the location where you want to insert the image. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon and click the Online Pictures button found in the Illustrations button group. This will display the Insert Pictures window. Within this window, you can see the various types of online resources that you can use to browse for pictures to insert. If you want to insert pictures that are available from Office.com, you can type a keyword for which you want to search for associated pictures into the SearchOffice.com text box. Then click the Search button at the right end of the text box to display pictures that match the keyword. You can scroll through the listing of matching pictures until you find one that you like. You can then click on the picture you want to insert and click the Insert button at the bottom of the window. By default, when you add any type of graphics file into a Word document, it has its default text wrapping set to in line with text. This means that the picture has been inserted into the document as if it were simply another character in a sentence. You can only place the picture into areas within the document where text characters exist when using this type of wrap setting. You will not be able to click and drag the image to move it freely within the document unless you pick a different type of text wrapping. You can click the Layout Options tag that appears at the right side of the inserted image and then choose a type of text wrapping from the drop-down menu of choices. Once you do that, then you may move the image by simply clicking and dragging the image to a different part of the document. To resize a selected image with your mouse, place your mouse pointer over any one of the little eight resizing squares that are located at the perimeter of the image. Once your mouse pointer turns into a double-pointed white arrow, you can click and drag in either direction displayed by the arrow to increase or decrease the size of the image. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.